All right, it's uh, time to get back on this horse piece. And uh, just got a few holes to fill that had bothered me. I'm going to start the tail today on these. And I've got to be a tail that uh, adds to the design of the piece. So, I was going to be here yesterday, but uh, I got some news yesterday that kind of threw me off. Nothing to do with health or finances or anything like that. It's just some really, well, I'll tell you about it probably in another month or so. Uh, it's going to take me away from sculpting for a couple of days or a few, de few days and stuff like that in the near future. But uh, I'll tell you more about it later. Time to play with some play. I want the uh, surface of the horses loose, but I don't want to have a bunch of holes in the uh, clay. That ear seems a little long.
What's been happening this week is uh, I got some really earth-shaking news on Tuesday, I think it was. Uh, the foundry that I've been working with for 30 years here in 
Montana was closing at the end of next month. They were going to try to do it by the end of this month, but they just have too much they have to catch up with before they can quit. And so it's up to me to get my molds out of there, try to figure out where to take them, and uh, also try to find another foundry to create my bronzes, or else what I'm doing is just, well, it's not going to do anything. It's just not going nowhere. Yeah, two days ago, I got a call. All right, was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. I was down here working on the clay, and that's the first part of this video. And I had a, a call from a friend that I hadn't heard from probably in 20 years, and so we were talking. Got done with that conversation, and I got a call from a foundry in Prescott, Arizona, that uh, has expressed an interest in handling my work. And so I'm trying to decide what to do or not to do. I've been running around trying to, I mean, talking to people and, and trying to figure out what to do. Because 900 miles is a long ways between here and Prescott, Arizona. It's actually closer than 1,000 miles. And I'm getting up there in age, and that kind of traveling is hard on the body. <laughs> so, but this foundry is so such a good foundry and it handles some of the top western artists in the country i mean really the the cat's meow you might say of western artists in in sculpting and it was really an honor for them to call and ask me to uh think about putting my stuff in there so that's what i've been doing and today was filled with that too so i'm getting a late start this afternoon i'm going to try to get as much done as i can uh, I got the main done yesterday <coughs> on the uh, one horse that didn't have it. And today I'm going to try to do the tail. But I've got to figure out how I'm going to do the tail first. All right, I'll be right back and we'll see what we can do. All right, I've made an armature for the tails. And I've decided on the direction I'm going to have the tails. Uh, some of it... Uh, is dictated by the photograph I've got uh, that I've been working from and uh, all right uh, I got the, both tails roughed in that's as much I've as much time as I've got right now I just don't have any other time to do this um, I'll pick this up uh, Monday or Tuesday of next week and it really depends on uh, my search for foundry and whether I'm going to deal with a foundry that I've been contacted by or not, I've got to do a lot of thinking and a lot of uh, figuring out because it's a long distance between here and in Arizona. I, my foundry that I've been working with is only an hour drive, so it's it's going to make a big difference in uh, how I deal with a foundry and everything. So, all right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Hope have hope you have a great weekend. Go for a stop recording. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.